Hello, welcome in. I want you to today to make a video talking about heavy assault and everything surrounding that topic. Now the point of saying that is that surrounding the topic of being a good heavy assault player is having good frame rate. It's about having a crosshair. It's about having raw excel instead of mouse acceleration from Windows. It's things like practicing in aim labs if you want to go super try hard. And so I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff that's specific to Planetside, but having those core fundamentals get down are really going to make the massive difference between players. If you have good aim, and you have the frame rate to support it, and you've got a good refresh rate, you'll usually do pretty well, regardless of if you have good infantry skill. Um, I've seen a lot of new players come to the game, and if they've been practicing in aim labs, they can easily get a 2kd with infantry heavy, and that's not even difficult for them. 2.5, to be honest, is expected. And again, that's if you're really good at aim labs, and you may only have to put in a few hundred hours of aim labs, and you know that probably would get you a lot more a return than putting in several thousand hours into Planetside. With that being said, there's a lot of things in this guide that I'm going to talk about which can augment and improve your skill if you have good aim or mask having bad aim if you just want to do that like I do. I have bad aim, I don't want to practice in aim labs. I have a crosshair and I use raw excel, but I'm not going to practice my aim, I never probably will. And so my infantry skill has a very um, low skill ceiling relative to players which might practice the aim a bit better or maybe they have a bigger mouse mat than me you know i can only wrist aim really which limits me a lot one of the main things about heavy assault that you need to know is movements and looking at the mini map those two things as well can again augment your skill even if you're bad at the game and you can't aim you still can do decent with heavy assault if you just learn that positioning in this game is also very important you know if you're at a 30 degree angle to the opposition and they can't really see you that's going to be a very different engagement than if you see them head on so some of the basics that you need to know as heavy assault are you need to uh, manage your cone of fire Usually this involves every two or three shots resetting your cone of fire. People do generally call this basting. So it's instead of just holding down left click, again you do bast and you try to only shoot when your caster's near the enemy instead of all the time. A lot of people do as well out of fear, reactionarily shoot and kind of like to make the enemy go away rather than methodically aiming at the person and trying to aim for their head in like a very calm manner. And when you do that, that will also help. Now, when you're playing heavy assault, you will generally have weapons that sway left or right, and you'll want to compensate for that. You do also have vertical recoil, which involves you having to pull down the mouse as you shoot. So keep both of those in mind, and that is something to always remember. Of course, as well, I kind of mentioned this at the start, but having a good mouse sensitivity for your game will help a lot. Generally speaking, I recommend turning your sensitivity down really low, like really low, and then slowly, slowly turning it up through the days until you get to a point where you're just about happy with it. Um, you still want to be able to flick to people relatively quickly, and if they're in a light assault and they're traveling quite fast, um, one of the things I've noticed is you want to get to that sensitivity where you can still do that, and so that will involve turning your sensitivity up. But for the most people, like 99% of people, uh, to begin with, you think that it's you've got low sensitivity, you probably don't. There's some other things about heavy assault, like trying to abuse movement um, to your advantage. So that's things like peeking, because peekers always have the advantage. It's things like crosshair placement. So looking on the minimap, seeing where the dot is, and then aiming at there. And then you can even pre-fire and peek at the same time and try to kill the enemy that way. And that will help you, especially if you, again, do those in combination. Um, crosshair placement as well, uh, generally speaking, should be at head level. A lot of people do leave their crosshair too low. And so you do raise that, need to raise it up to head level. If you can as well, try not to expose too much of your body. A lot of people will... they'll sprint through a door when the other team's point holding and they'll expose themselves to everyone. Instead, I want you to slowly peek and clear a room. Of course, as well, um, you do want to be strafing. That should be obvious. So holding down A and D. You want to be making sure that you don't do this in really short bursts. You want to be doing it, you know, every two seconds, every one second, not just, you know, every 0.5 seconds you're switching. Because if you're doing that, you may as well be standing still. 
By the way, one good way to practice your aim is in the warp gate every single time you go in, shoot some people in the head and just get used to the idea of flicking between people's heads and see how well you can do that. You can also use in the warp gate uh, tracking people and trying to shoot them at the same time and see how well you can do that. You're going to start off being pretty bad but you can get pretty good at it. I did also mention this at the start but having good map awareness is also very important. You should generally be flicking to the minimap and then back to your screen with a good degree of consistency. As a heavy assault player, there's two ways you can play. You can kind of play like a pussy and play very tactically and get pickoffs and you can also ride zargs in order to achieve a high KPM and a high KD because there's less skilled players there. And that's one way to play the game and that's how I think a lot of good players think that they should play as heavy assault. What I would argue instead is as heavy assault, you can instead go in for 1v1 engagements. You can solo cap bases. You can point hold, which is another really strong way to play heavy assault. You can also call me crazy, be the fast in the room, push in, and then as a medic revives you, push a bit farther and see how far you can get doing that. Instead of being very careful and sly and not really caring about the point at all. That to be honest, as a heavy assault player, is why I wouldn't pay too much statistics. The only ones you really want to be looking at is accuracy, headshot ratio, and then for the most part I would ignore everything else. Because a lot of players... Uh, statistics is going to be mediated by the way that they play the game. For Heavy Assault there's a few different loadouts as well. For live gameplay I would generally recommend Assimilate and Sensor Shield as the two meta implants. There is also Athlete which is good because you can abuse movement to kind of evade the enemy a little bit better and also when you get resed you can travel a bit faster so there is some utility there as well. There's a lot of other implants that you could consider for heavy assault. Things like safeguard really do help. I've seen people argue for scavenger being a good implant as well because of the 50 ammo pool of the MSWR, Anchor and the Orion. There's also an argument to be made between laser sight and grip. I would say for the most part grip once you have good aim is probably better but laser does have its place as well, especially if you're like tower farming a base and you've got like suppressor and laser, like that's a viable strategy if you want to farm people. There's also avoidance if you want to be fast in a building, if you are solo capping bases, like your 1vx, you may want to get avoidance and sensor shield, that's a good combo. Also remember, there's a good amount of synergy between adrenaline shield and assimilate, so you generally want to run those two in combination. There's also an argument to be made for resist shield in point holds because you then get explosive resist as well as um, the resist of incoming infantry shooting at you. The problem with that is that when you turn resist on, for the enemy it won't be turned on for like half a second or whatever. And so during that time any damage that they do to you doesn't include the nano weave that on your screen is turned on. And so that can make resist a lot less effective than it otherwise would be because of the client side nature of the game. Generally speaking flash suppressor is also really good because it will decrease the muzzle uh, flare of your gun which makes it a bit easier to see the enemy and also they can't see where you're shooting from as easily so it can be a little bit of a bonus there as well. One time scopes obviously really good. Generally speaking people do run around with soft point ammunition and that's what I recommend. For utility as well I would almost always recommend medkit. 99% um, of the time. If you're in a very try-hard outfit you might be able to get away with C4 because then you can throw C4 at any pushes that are coming in with a bunch of people clustered together which is very often in those fights with big skill fits. And so C4 can work in those situations. There's a lot of things that people try to work out for heavy assault, try to be a bit experimental so they'll go for things like bionics, advanced shield capacitor, Though resist shield to be honest is not really that good. What I always say is that experience the main meta first and then afterwards you can experiment and play the game that you want to. But initially master playing the game that people have generally paved the way for and then afterwards come up with your own style. A good example is me with avoidance. I used to run around with survivalist and assimilate um, and then I did switch to avoidance because I enjoy that. 
and that's how I enjoy to play the game. I, I hate mines, it's my pet peeve. But if you are looking at a heavy assault guide, you might not be at that uh, point in your gameplay where you really need to experiment because even the meta normal stuff is new to you. A uh, running decimator is also generally recommended because you can one hit kill any infantry other than heavy assault when they got a shield on. Um, you can also use the commissioner pistol which I would say is generally the best gun for heavy assault in general. There is some arguments for other pistols and they do have credence behind them but the 6 ammo capacity of the commissioner is good and again it's a very uncontroversial thing 95% of good players at least will be using commissioner. I am also in the video description gonna have a playlist with a bunch of stuff as a heavy assault player you would probably benefit from. Feel free to check that out if you want to. As always have a great day, subscribe if you're not already. GG, I'm out, bye bye.